What are we discussing today? We're going to talk about chest pain today, another serious medical topic. But before we start discussing, I need to tell you something. What is it? I think you must be my coronary artery. Why? Because you're wrapped around my heart. <laughs> I was a little nerdy. You like? Not bad, but where are you coming up with those pickup lines? When I see you, everything just becomes natural. Now that's pretty sweet. Okay, I have to be honest because I cannot take all the credits. Some of these pickup lines are original, but some are learned from work, TV shows, or the internet. Keep practicing, you'll get better. Come on, I ain't bad. You're just okay. What do you mean? Come on. Compared to me, you haven't done much. What are you talking about, girl? Well, I give up eating an apple a day. What? Because I don't want to keep you away. Ooh! <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Howdy, folks. Welcome to our channel. I am Pushy. I'm Mushy. And we're the Pushy, Pushy Mushy. Mushy. Yeah. Uh, we will do our best to combine facts with humor, but if we do make mistakes, please let us know and we will do our best to correct. Please like or dislike, hopefully not dislike, subscribe, comment, share, and press that bell icon. Great! Just so everyone is clear, what is chest pain? This is a pain sensation in the chest area, which can be over the left chest, the right chest, the center of the chest, or behind the sternum, around the ribs, and perhaps a combination of these locations or other characterizing locations. So what causes chest pain? Lots of causes, from the heart, which is the focus today, to the lungs, to the gastrointestinal tract, to the musculoskeletal system, to anxiety or other psychiatric conditions, to skin conditions, and to other sources, such as drugs, both legal and illegal, and sometimes chest pain can be referred. What does refer chest pain mean? It means that the cause of the chest pain originates from an organ or a place outside of the heart. But because of how sometimes our nerves are connected or wired in our body and to our brain, we perceive this non-cardiac cause as chest pain. In other words, the original problem that is outside of the heart gets referred to the heart and we perceive the original non-cardiac problem as chest pain. So it's referred chest pain serious? It can be serious, but it is not always so. However, because it is not a non-medical person's responsibility to distinguish serious from non-serious chest pain, and because chest pain can be very serious, whenever someone has chest pain, he or she should seek immediate medical attention. Why immediately? What if it's late at night? Can we just wait until tomorrow to go to a primary doctor or the hospital? Absolutely not. Chest pain cannot and should not wait. The reason is similar to the stroke episode we had discussed before. There is a time window we medical folks go by because if treatment is given within a certain period of time, outcome is better. For example, within 90 minutes of first medical contact to primary percutaneous coronary intervention by a skilled interventional cardiologist has been shown to demonstrate a better outcome. Is this what they refer to as the door to balloon time on TV? Wow, smart girl. Technically, it is not, but I don't want folks to be bogged down in terminologies and details that are not necessarily useful for them. For examples, there is the door to balloon time you just mentioned, and there are also door to needle time, door in to door out time, first medical contact to balloon, which is technically what we were talking about, in other terms that I really don't feel lay people should commit to memory. So first and foremost, when someone has a chest pain, Refer or not, he or she should immediately call 911 or seek medical attention. Absolutely. So what happens when a patient with chest pain gets to the hospital? Similar to what we discussed in our stroke episode, I would recommend leaving the management to the medical teams at the hospital. Patients and their families are often updated by medical staff multiple times throughout their stay in cases like this. So how serious are heart attacks? Extremely serious and therefore do not delay seeking medical attention when chest pain comes on. Have I said this already? Yes, multiple times, but we appreciate the emphasis. Do all heart attacks present as chest pain? Great question. Just like not all chest pain points to heart attack or even cardiac causes, not all heart attacks present as chest pain. This probably brings you to your next question, which would be a very good question. And you would basically be asking, how do we know if someone is not having a heart attack when there is no chest pain? Am I correct? Why didn't you follow the script? That was my question. 
I'm sorry. I just felt like that was going to be your next question. What do you mean you felt like? You knew that was my next question. You wrote the script. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go back. You ask your next question. Okay. So how do we know if someone is not having a heart attack when there's no chest pain? Great question. Very smart question. The truth is, we never know. But we always have a high index of suspicion for acute coronary syndrome. Hold on! <laughs> I'm not done yet. I did this on purpose. I have to sound sophisticated so folks actually think I know what I'm talking about and maybe believe I am a real doctor. You said this during the diabetes episode already. Anyway, we always have a high index of suspicion for acute coronary syndrome, which is basically heart attacks in simple language. What does high index of suspicion involve? Great question. If someone is coming in with shortness of breath, other chest symptoms, left arm symptoms, left jaw symptoms, left shoulder symptoms, nausea that is not controlled with usual care, perhaps other symptoms, or if someone is a female, we generally pay more attention to possibly look for heart attacks or heart conditions. Don't discriminate against females. My dear, studies have shown that females tend to have more of an atypical presentation for heart attacks. That's why I mentioned gender. My bad. This proves that you have a bad track record. What the... Funk. I'm sorry, I apologize for the bad track record. Good. Briefly, how is heart attack diagnosed? It is a combination of clinical presentation, a rising troponin, which is a cardiac enzyme that typically becomes elevated in the blood when the heart is stressed. Potential changes on an EKG, which is a graph of the heart's electrical activities, imaging evidence consistent with heart attack, and identification of a heart blockage on cardiac catheterization. So how is heart attack treated? This is actually a somewhat complicated question, but depending on someone's health status, issues, or concerns, cardiologists will at least recommend medical management and at the appropriate time, surgical intervention, potentially including the commonly known open heart surgery. So what are some known risk factors for heart attacks? We discussed about modifiable versus non-modifiable risk factors during the stroke episode. So here, I am going to encourage everyone for the following seven good health behaviors. Number one, don't smoke. Number two, exercise and be physically active. Number three, eat healthy. Number four, do your best to maintain a normal blood pressure. Number five, do your best to maintain a normal blood sugar level. Number six, do your best to maintain a normal total cholesterol level. And number seven, do your best to maintain a normal body weight. Last question. I have heard some Asian folks say to pinch your left arm and do other types of breathing exercise when the chest pain comes on in order to avoid serious heart damage. Do those work? The truth is I don't know. I respect Asian folks, but they can be nerdy at times, which does not mean they're either right or wrong, which means what I'm saying is essentially useless to your question. What I would recommend is to seek immediate medical attention, just like we discussed before. And while you wait to be medically managed, you can attempt these techniques that these Asian folks recommend if you so desire. But these techniques should not replace seeking immediate medical attention. We're the Pushy Mushy. Thanks for watching.